paper crafts. So any sort of craft, arts and crafts project that involves paper. So whether that's actually like literally cutting magazine papers and pasting them on paper mm -hmm. or just using paper as a medium and doing like lettering or watercolor art. I've always really liked greeting cards, buying greeting cards. Um, and I figured, you know, if you go to a store, they're usually like five dollars and I, I felt like it would be a little more meaningful if I just kind of made the cards myself and had mm -hmm. a handwritten note inside of it. Yeah. So that's kind of where it started. Um, and then from there, I started watching a lot of YouTube videos to learn how to do like watercoloring mm -hmm. and um, like lettering and things like that. And I found a lot of inspiration on Instagram actually mm -hmm. because there are so many artists um, who post their work. For my full-time job, I work you know in an office in front of a computer all day and I talk with clients and I feel like I kind of want to go home and have a place where I'm just kind of by myself and I am freely able to sort of express myself it just gives me me time yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, to just be creative and have a judgment-free space for myself. I also just really love collecting greeting cards in general and magazines in general and so in order to get rid of all that stuff I kind of have to <laughs> force myself to make things. Yeah, yeah. So I recently read and actually saw Rupi Kaur. Oh yeah. She's a um, poet and she reads her work. And I went through like a, a little bit of a tough time last year and I found her books to be really comforting mm -hmm. and so um, the cover of her books actually have paper cutouts on them and so I figured like oh like it kind of fits the theme already and so I chose a couple of her quotes and I kind of put like paper cutout images mm -hmm. on them so this one is about a human like it has a heart this one is like an ocean and this one is about how you should let others help pick up the pieces even when circumstances aren't great. So have your friends be there when there are moments of celebration, but also be there for when you really need them for comfort. It's kind of trial and error. Sometimes yeah. it's just really random. Um, sometimes I don't like it and then I'll, because it's just stuck on with a glue stick, I'll just take it off and replace it with another. Yeah. So. I've also really started to become interested in watercolor. I've been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials mm -hmm. and just kind of experimenting with um, using different brushes. This I was just like looking at my phone <laughs> and looking at like all the different colors that apps use. Yeah. So I just kind of made little app icons. So yeah, I just have a lot of fun making things. Sometimes I'll have like a particular friend that I want to make something for. Mm -hmm. Other times it's just like what I'm feeling that day and if it looks good then I'll scan it and print it out onto a card. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think the things that I like to do the most are really just kind of having an image in mind and yeah. just kind of using magazines and kind of pasting them and sorting it into an actual image. And these I've also sort of scanned. Oh, I love um, Oh snap, it's a birthday! <laughs> I, I do have an Etsy shop, but I think the best place for you to find my work um, is to go to my website. So my name is Maki Yamamoto, and so it's kind of like a the two the two words kind of combined. So it's yamakimoto.com, uh -huh. um, and I have links to the Etsy shop and you can see most of the, like I have more things on there just kind of as a portfolio website. And um, I also really like sending snail mail, so you can see all of those there as well. Cool. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem.